The chest pain in EOE is somewhat complicated, and it's actually a two-part question. In the untreated patient, what's causing the chest pain most of the time is a food impaction. The food is sticking. Uh, you can't swallow your saliva. You've got foam and mucus coming up. You get excited, worried, anxious. You'll get spasm there, and that's what's causing the chest pain. On the other hand, chest pain after doing esophageal dilatation is just part of it because as you're stretching up that scar tissue, as you're breaking up that scar tissue, it's going to be painful. You're going to be sore for three to five days. In my patients, I use a sports analogy. No pain, no gain. If we're not going to undergo some discomfort to get the esophagus open, then that's okay with me, but I'm not going to be able to help you and you'll continue to have your diet limited. Interestingly, with the success of dilatation and patients only after you get the esophagus open needing the dilatation once every year or once every couple of years, most people think the gain from that way outrisks you know, the discomfort they have just for a couple of days.